just they don't care. They'll give me the odds on the Indianapolis Jets game. <laughs> you know, they'll keep up with USF's new skip holes to coach. But they don't really get it. And I'm so happy that most people here get it. Um, basically, you know, I'm not a long-winded speaker. I usually stay in the background. You don't have to dress as well, raise the money, you know, and let the guys like Marco Rubio speak and the Adam Putnams. And the guys said, really, wow, I love to hear this guy. But I would like any questions you have about anything, I'd be very happy to answer them. And ask me about anything. Except bug pest control, because they have to charge you. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's any questions, shoot away. <clears throat> yeah, yes? Uh, you mentioned the head of Putnam. Um, is it true that he would uh, ease up on the immigration for the migrant workers as far as giving them their back door? I never heard him say that. Um, I'm not a spokesman. I'll be honest with you, 90% of my time right now is working with Marco Rubio. Um, and Bill McCollum's a friend from a long time. I said, Bill, after you, he gets by a primary, Charlie, I'll be very happy to help you. I'm also Bill McCollum's regional campaign team. I don't like to speak for them because I'm not really honest about it, but I'm working in positions on every issue. I know Marco's positions because I'm working a lot with him. But Adam Putnam, this conservative guy, I don't see any signs of that when he's a congressman. Eventually, he'd like to be governor, which is why he's running for a statewide race. And what I tell you is not secret clandestine stuff, it's just you know, I'm around it all day, so I kind of know what's, you know who's going where. But um, I think right now this immigration problem, we've got this Haiti thing. There's a lot of little kids that are orphans and stuff. I mean, they ship them in, they've got parents, they're going to be absorbed, people want to nurture them and help them and everything. As far as giving the rest of these people aid, I mean, as far as bringing them here, I think it's just easier to bring the stuff over there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Don't we have all these containers from New Orleans that they didn't use? Why don't they ship them down there and yeah. mm -hmm. set them up? I mean, it's got to be better than the housing they have now. Mm -hmm. But um, <coughs> you know, I, want to, I, I cannot definitely speak for Adam Putnam's campaign. But I'm sure he has a website. He has a website. Yeah, but I don't think that would be one of the things that uh, he would do. Because we heard he sponsored a bill to legalize illegal immigrant parties in the Senate. Oh, when said it's it's no, it's, it's a bill worker. right now that's up. It's 32, 34 House bill or something. And what it does is it gives so many migrant workers LPR status, legal permanent resident status, versus migrant worker status. So it's bumping them up. And some of them are illegal. Some of them, their their migrant worker status expired and this and that. So it's it's bumping them up to legal permanent resident. I asked him about that when he spoke at the PCREC. Last, right, last week. Yeah. I asked them specifically about that bill because Thomas of Congress website, Library of Congress, has listed on there that it's going to give um, amnesty to one million illegal aliens or something. And he told me he'd get the facts to me straight. He said, that's not the straight facts. He'd get it to me straight, but I haven't heard yet. Well, things are twisted. That's what the, yeah. Yeah, things get twisted. A lot of things get done behind the scenes. A good sign, I, I forgot to mention, I was going to mention it, but I forgot is that when you look at what happened at the state party, you read the paper about Jim Greer and all this kind of stuff. Jim Greer, number one, a state party chairman is an elected position. When they say that the next state party uh, chairman is John Thrasher, uh, well, they're wrong because Sharon Day has the votes, but that's, you know, that's what we do whip counts. But anyway, Charlie Crist picked Jim Greer for whatever reason is not important now. Everybody gave him the benefit of the doubt because he said, it's the governor, he should have this guy in there. So he came out of a city council thing, not a party regular, didn't come up through the ranks. He won 102.89, which means a seven-vote swing turns it. But Jim Greer is chairman. When Charlie Crist, his, I don't know phrase this the right way, Jim Greer's sin, I guess, was he was too loyal to Charlie Crist and not the party. In that position, you have to be loyal to the party. And when Charlie Crist hugged Obama, mm -hmm. besides being an incredibly stupid thing that everybody sees it now, um, he was reaching out because Obama was popular. And a lot of the Republican Party, which people in this room, I'm sure, have some problems with, said, we have to get along, be moderate, yeah. and embrace everybody. LBJ's Big Tent Theory. Well. 
Marco says it best, we can argue ideas but not compromise our principles. And what Jim Greer did is he blindly followed Charlie Crisp into moderation of Rhino. And a lot of us said, no, 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 we can't have this, we cannot do this. So a schism was up in the party. When Marco Rubio, he announced the Senate first. Charlie Crystal had the rest of the session he was involved in before he was going to announce. He knew he was going to announce the Senate, but he announced. The second Charlie Chris announces the Senate, the pasty old white guys, like McConnell and those guys, the Senatorial Committee, we anoint Charlie Crist as the next United States Senator representing Florida. Excuse me, but there's a few people here that don't agree with that. <laughs> Jim Greer said, Charlie Crist is my governor and I own my job and I'm loyal. Many of us said, no, you don't know Charlie Crist because we voted for you and you own a party first and you have to keep out of it. That's how all this started. The American Express and all that stuff is, is just ancillary stuff that because of everyone here has blogs and the internet and get out of heart. Um, that's what happened with the state party. The state party was really ticked off because we said it ha we have to be fair and neutral and it's something like this. And so finally it came to a head and Jim Greer has resigned and we'll have a new chairman February 20th and whoever's elected, whether it's Thrash or a day, kumbaya, there's going to be no big problems. I'm sorry, you're not going to read about the paper anymore. It's just going to, everyone's going to go behind the scenes and get Republicans elected. But that's what's happened because we felt the rank and file that our Republican Party, who believed in, just like I said, the 912 principles and values, down the line going, wait a minute, why are we spending all this money we don't have? Wait a minute, you know, what about honesty? What about hard work? You know, we, and, that, and that really, you guys are more Republican than the Republican Party establishment. But, and that's what the papers say. Well, I'm part of the Republican Party establishment, I agree with you, and most of us do. Now, we, we had a cleansing, we had a little civil war, and it's over with. It really is over with. February 20th, it'll be official, and we're good. So I just wanted to let you know that um, we're with you, and hopefully you're with us, because the one thing that can mess this country up is, like Abraham Lincoln said, a house divided cannot stand. And if you did pick every issue, I'm not saying you folks do. But, I mean, if you didn't pick every issue, God forbid we get another Democrat from Florida. Or, you know, that, that's a disaster. We're going to pick up, hopefully, hopefully, in that six, seven seats. I don't, I don't think we'll steal the Senate. But we're going to pick up some seats in the House. We might get the House. And, you know, I can go over a lot of the House strategies and everything with you if you want to know. I can go over how Mark was going to win the race, break down the state by state. But any you'd like to know, please. I'm not a structured speaker. I got no teleprompter, no card. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Just because you mentioned um, McCollum, is there any chance? There's a bunch of questions I'd like to ask him. Is there any chance of getting him to come to one of these kind of things? Yes, there is. He will be at a breakfast in Pinellas County on February 5th. It's a fundraiser. It's a fundraiser. I think it's 50 bucks to get breakfast. Uh, it's not official yet. So don't worry about the website yet. Please be at Lenny's. Oh, it's excellent. good food. I like it. My house. Okay, cool. Yeah, my it's yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> but uh, we had, we had uh, what's his name over here? It was great. Um, oh, God. I'm blanking out. Um, the Democrat the, from Connecticut. Oh, that no. helped with help. Oh, no, no. Joey no, no, Brewer. Joey Brewer. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I blanked out on the guy's name. <laughs> no, we had a paling thing over there in Tampa, and Joe Lieber was working for McCain. Yeah. And he said he wanted some restaurants, so he was in that area, so he said, go to Lenny's. Give you a feel at home. It's a nice Jewish deli like from New York. Good food. But anyway, um, McCollum will be having a breakfast. And a lot of times when you see these guys for free, just at political events, um, we'll have them at the executive committee of the PCRC sometime in the near future. I don't know about this month coming up. Um, he will not be at Lincoln Day dinner. I know that he'll be in Sumter County on February 20th. But... They are available to see. They're, they, you should have a website with some kind of schedule, but they're bad about that. They never confirm a month in advance. But he's a real nice guy, and he's going to have some fundraisers that most people can afford to go to. Those breakfasts usually have 50, 60 people. For 50 bucks, you get some one-on-one -on -one time to speak to Bill. But, um, it's well worth it.